Welcome to SAP S4 HANA Simplifications Discussion. Today we will look at finance modules like profitability analysis, COPA module. Before we go and discuss about how COPA module structure, the model is available in S4 HANA architecture. Let us look at in R3 how the data flows into COPA from different modules. You have two types of COPA modules which is like one is COPA account based, COPA costing based and uh, both of these modules need segment level tables which is C4 appended by operating concern number. And then you have COBK and COEP table which is basically CO table to record all the COPA account based data, details whereas when it comes to COPA costing based you have C1, C2, C3 tables and uh, these tables again appended by operating concern. Then you have FI postings let's look at like FI postings how they are flowing in those COPA module whenever there is any FI posting the data goes into BKPF and from there obviously to line item table BSEG and uh, it is integrated based on the line item level whether it is has got costing or cost center or profitable analysis like that and uh, if it is a prof profitable analysis at the line item level then it triggers a CO posting which is to account based COPA. Then simultaneously it also post COPA costing based if the costing based is enabled. So this is the way FI postings will happen. FI postings will go into COBK COEP table to COPA account based and then COPA costing based will go directly from the FI postings. Then look at uh, CO only posting such as cost center allocations and um, maybe internal order settlements and so on and so forth. So these data like they do not they do not go into BKPF table obviously because this is a CO only posting the data directly goes into COPA account based into COBK and COEP table. And then uh, obviously the data will go into COPA tables which are costing based. Let us look at the MM variances, production variances. If the MM variances, obviously it will post into BKPF and again in turn it will go to COPA table, COEP and COPK table. And then uh, it will post into C1 table along with the costing based. If it is MM uh, variance, it is a single value, it will go into COPA table with one value field. Whereas if it is a production variance, then you have different types of production variance, input variance, output variance, quantity variance, usage variance. So all these variances are mapped to different COPA value fields in costing based. So these different types of variances will never go to CO PA account based module. Then let us look at the SD module. So when, when it becomes the SD module, so obviously the data will be the order level. Data will flow into CO PA costing based only because the order does not post any accounting. So then obviously it does not post into account based CO PA. Whereas all the order data can go into CO PA costing based into CO C1 tables. If the order is enabled for passing into COPA along with the order all the order conditions will flow into COPA if it is a, a delivery information so obviously the delivery information will go to account based COPA so based on the account based COPA it's automatically will go into the um, account based COPA because that is what the delivery information goes. Uh, basically the delivery means the cost of goods sold that is recorded in the account based along with accounting entry that happens. 
um, normally the delivery information does not flow into copa costing based and uh, then the billing information will flow again to copa account based based on the revenue posting and then the same time it will post into copa costing based all the conditions so again uh, in the billing if you have multiple conditions the copa costing based will have multiple conditions mapped there okay so the more detailed line item level information will be in costing based and uh, uh, the information which is at the account level uh, will be in the copa account based okay so this is the way the data will flow in r3 now let's look at uh, what is happening in the copa hana s4 hana copa model right so let's look at the s4 so copa account based and again copa account based in fi then in co it is eliminated so which means copa account based is in fi only then you have copa costing based and the segment table is same because the segment table the purpose is that to have your derivation of your segments which are like your profitability segments uh, which are nothing nothing but combination of your copa characteristics values right and then the data again you know from from the database tables perspective you have bkpf table um, they have not yet removed cobk table yet but the coep table is eliminated and then c1 tables will be there uh, from the copa costing based uh, information is concerned there is no change there and then the fi postings obviously goes to fi postings will go to bkpf table and then in turn from there bseg obviously the universal table is updated everything including copa account based information fi postings obviously they will trigger into the copa which is part of your universal journal and then copa costing based information if the costing based is enabled then if it is a co only postings now there is a difference because there is nothing called co only postings now all the postings in co will also reflect in your accounting which is like bkpf tables then in turn they will go to your universal journal so means like account based when it comes to the account based obviously the copa uh, co only table uh, allocations such as cost center allocations will go into uh, account based automatically then when it comes to the copa costing based then in the data will there is no change that data will go into your I mean copa costing based tables then when it comes to the mm variances obviously there is no difference because it will go into bkpf and then into the universal journal along with the characteristics that we are deriving them and uh, when it comes to the uh, costing based obviously from the production variance different types of production variance such as input variance output variance usage variance will go into copa costing based analysis no so the gross mod, mod gross profit margin analysis like much more detailed in the copa costing based uh, that will not change but obviously the copa account based also has got a lot of information in the ecdoca table and then when it comes to the sd obviously the order details still go to copa costing based because you know you, you you don't have order details going to more universal table again then there's a concept of predict predictive journals and all that statistics journals you know if they come up and they may be posted there but at this point of time they will go to costing based uh, copa and then the, you know the delivery information again it will automatically flow into your universal journal which is acdoca uh, for the copa account based and then uh, obviously it will go into costing based uh, if at all if uh, if at all you know you are enabling the information there um, i think uh, you know the delivery information may not go maybe it's you know this is something wrongly drawn here and then uh, uh, the billing information obviously goes to a universal journal and then it goes to copa costing based analysis so this is what happens in s4 hana and then again you know you are eliminating the copa account based uh, information right so when it comes to you know copa s4 hana uh, like you know simplifications point of view 
so pretty much you have like you know simplifications wise account based uh, copa is native to sap finance and then on the universal journal itself and uh, your costing based is optional right so the migration projects when you look at copa existing copa you have to analyze and you know you have to decide whether you want to costing based you want to use or not look at other integrations like material ledger sales and distribution pp variances in s4 and you know based on that you need to decide like how you you know push into copa and then uh, you know new derivations approach because you now the data is also in your universal journal you have to see how detailed data is there in the universal journal and accordingly you have to decide whether you need to have costing based copa or not and then you know the new reconciliation approach uh, if you are still using costing better than uh, the reconciliation has to be there because you cannot avoid it be by the nature of uh, that but the approach would be a little bit different okay and then uh, account based activation is uh, is going to be there like uh, part of your migration and then you know ecc to s4 hana migration is pretty much you know rewriting your reporting uh, eliminate redundant data hana live uh, information you can use and maybe you can write a new fury apps to consume the data from uh, new architecture thanks for watching hopefully uh, it clarified how sap s4 hana copa is evolving and uh, thanks for watching this presentation and please do visit uh, our site uh, simplefinance.com for more simplification discussions. Thank you.